Welcome KC in the human design advance class. The planets, there is so much here. How does our astrological sign correspond in human design? Sign design, hey, hey. Ruling planet, rising sign and such. I'm curious how the different planets relate in my chart. It feels like this could be a class within the class. Oh, definitely, definitely. Dude, the crossover for astrology is huge. I've done a little research about what you said, and many people have asked um, about why is there no ascendant in human design and how does this correlate in that? And what I found was that you have to input your birth data, both when you calculate astrology and when you calculate human design. And supposedly it's all there just different terminology so in a sense of in pure astrology okay you have your astro sign you have your rising sign ruling planet all these things but in astrology you don't have a conscious sun and and an unconscious sun which is your left and right side of the body graph or a conscious earth, which is grounding for the sun, an unconscious earth. So in that sense, it's like different terminologies altogether. And then you take gene keys, for example. Gene keys is very similar to human design, but it was channeled through a different person. And they're like, when you read the books about gene keys, when you listen to the person uh, who translated the channeling who who put it into words when you listen to him speak as opposed to the human design person it's very different he has like such an optimistic view for humanity while human designs Rauru who has a very pessimistic and that depends on the person that channeled it you know how clear was the channel how what what frame of mind did the person have and then in um, in Gene Keys, you get a lot less gates, for example. You don't get, I think it was like 18 aside. You get like a sequence. This is your start. You go left up to the right. There's like less gates, which are even relevant to your journey. But they, but they like Gene Keys goes deeper into each one, connecting with like the purpose of humanity and stuff. So all these things are like it's knowledge somehow still to this day, you know, how, how, how did this get transmitted? But it feels, it feels correct. It feels correct on so many levels. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't go this deep. I wouldn't accept this as a, as a frame of mind. I wouldn't teach this if it wasn't, proven on a feeling basis day-to-day -day basis it's an experiment and many different um, ways to interpret the same thing you know many different people and even astrology you can go okay one site gives you this the other side gives you that it's kind of like you know it's it's not so easy to pinpoint these things you you kind of have to take them and try them out and see okay maybe from your entire profile maybe 90 percent is correct but these 10 percent, okay this got lost in translation so yeah i'm not sure you know i'm not sure i just know they're kind of different sciences they value different um they put emphasis on different things and that's great because we can always use everything that's what I like to say to people, like, always learn things and sciences and new frames of mind, modalities, whichever, whatever it is, from multiple people, from multiple sources, and then you go and you distill what is the same, what is the common denominator between all things. That way you don't get a bias, you don't get a a spin of somebody's trauma of somebody's warped perception of things or you know stuff like that i used to do this 
I used to do this and you know what they say, the most dangerous person is the one that read only one book because then they are programmed by one thing and they stick to it and you can they become stubborn around one book. But if they read no books at all, that's better. <laughs> They're open at least. So when I got into human design for the first time, I thought that that was the only person that channeled it and that's the only source of information. And so many things did not resonate as uh, the, the channeler of human design, Ra, the way he presented it. So many things were very pessimistic, very nihilistic. It doesn't, you know, like we, we, we are all without control. The world is going to the toilet, all these things. You know, he was, he had this kind of dark sense of humor, but more, even more than that, I, it just didn't feel right. It didn't feel like, it felt like all this information is a baggage. It's it's like, it was like a heavy weight that we need to, to serve something. And then over the years, when I found out about Gene Keys and I listened to, let's say, the same gate from Richard Rudd, who wrote the Gene Keys system, I was like, oh my God, this feels me, this is like reading the Lord of the Rings or something. It's like, you know, it, it fills you with epicness, with optimism, with enlightenment. It talks about Buddhas and cities and gifts. It's like a superhero movie. And then I was like, all right, all right, I guess we need both sides. You always need both sides or 10 sides or 50 sides to see what is the same. And that's how we learn. That's like, so yeah. And that way you don't have to discard anything. You don't have to be like, Oh, but there's no rising sign in, in human design. Does that mean astrology is wrong? I don't know. What is, what is right and wrong? What resonates in your cells? What resonates in your body when you read it, when you remember things from your life? And I got I to gotta think that way. I got to think that way. Otherwise, I'm going to take a person's emotions and tone of voice as the truth. I've done this so much in my life, you know, it stems from childhood where we have to attune to the tone of voice of our parents to know if they are upset so we can please them to not be upset. I mean, that's not a normal thing. That was just my childhood and many other people, I guess, um, to walk on eggshells and to attune to be emotionally attuned. So no, so no rocking the boat and walking on eggshells and stuff. And then over the, over the course of my life, I had to learn that any information that I get from a person, I first have to look at a person, look at the person. I have to be, I have to have critical thinking, not be like a child with open eyes and open ears and just absorb everything and take everything as truth because then, haha, <laughs> First, I got to be, okay, who is this person? <laughs> what have they read? Where, where have they been in their life? What is their state of their nervous system? Do they have an agenda? How well did I know them? Do I know them? Do they have the life that I want or not? That was the main reason I stopped listening to my parents. I was like, okay, they're my parents. I'm used to listening to them my whole life. But if I just look at them as normal 50-year-old people, they're not people I want to take advice from. They're not, they're, they're not living the life that I want to have, as painful as it is. This is a small digression, but it, it, it's connected to the point. So take from astrology what feels empowering, I would say, and take from human design what feels empowering, and follow that. I think that's good advice for everything, right? For avoiding things that bog you down. We are not supposed to be bogged down by things not for so long and i feel like and i know from other people and i feel like we're going towards an age where information is not going to be that heavy and it's going to be you can already see it somebody's going to do a video and post it and you know it's relevant today i got so many so i got so much content i got so much stuff put out but i feel like most of it's only relevant in that on that day okay somebody finds it it's good to have a collection i'm not saying people don't look at old videos online and stuff i'm just saying that i feel like we're going towards an age where 
the refresh rate is going to be so much quicker and you're going to have to adapt to that with breathing and releasing faster. I think that was, that's my conclusion for my day today, but let's, let's keep it woven into this answer. I really feel a good resonance for my vo from my voice. So Casey, thank you for this question. Blessings be yours. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, share your story below. Check out my audio courses, Human Design, Basics, Intermediate, Projector Masterclass, other human design that will come out. Check out the Elemental Balancing audio course. They're all available on the Insight Timer app where you are also invited to join the course classroom. In there, you can ask questions and get direct voice messages from me and also engage with other students, share your feedback and insights and further your learning. For one-on-one -on -one human design coaching and psychotherapy, send an inquiry through the website. Join us on the Insight Timer live sessions where we do fascia and qigong stress release classes. Check out my art and merch web shop full of my original designs ready to be printed on shirts, notebooks and many other products. Download my free ebooks and join my newsletter to stay connected and get updates and content in your email. Everything mentioned is available at iCreatelines.com. Peace, health, and abundance.